to you live from Southern California. The show presents the National League Division Series. It's the Los Angeles Dodgers and the San Diego Padres. Joined by my partner Chris Singleton, I'm John Shomby. Postseason baseball, Singy, it's always great to see and be a part of. Oh, Boog, you just never know what's in store when it comes to postseason baseball. You do know you're going to see some amazing pitching players coming out of the bullpen, throwing 100, some incredible defensive plays, some big knocks, and maybe a mistake or two that will live on forever. All I do know is I'm pumped up for this one. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about ready to go. Today's starting pitcher, you Darvish. What do we have on him? He's someone you can rely on to provide quality innings in almost every one of his starts, Boog. He knows how to command the mound. His stuff is good, and sometimes it's even better than good. If he gets off to a fast start, look out. It could be a tough day for this lineup. All right, All right ready to get underway. Here's Kike Hernandez. Kike Hernandez. The pitch. And that one fouled off. And the right hander deals. Two and two. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. There's a swing and a drive. Merrill going back on this one. And it's caught just in front of the wall. Here's the Dodgers lineup now. They're dealing with a sinker specialist on the mound, which can be a big time challenge when he's right and working mostly from the knees down. Well, I think the approach you take is really try to lay off of those pitches down in the zone until he gets some called strikes and then forces you to go after that pitch. Until then, make him elevated because guys that throw those sinkers, those two seamers, really hard for them to be effective up in the zone. Those are pitches you can hammer, but when you get a cookie, you don't want to miss it. And That's a ball, ball evens the count. Two, two. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. Mookie retired two down and there are two down. That is third. The third base is number five. Two Freddy outs base is empty Freeman. and now it's going to be Freddie Freeman. In for a strike and a count one and two. Two outs base is empty. strikes he goes and a nice inning of work there as he sets him down one two three Dodgers go down quietly and now the Padres get their first opportunity in a scoreless ball game this is the National League Division Series on the show back here in San Diego and towing the slab Jack Flaherty what should we keep an eye on here well I'm interested to see how he utilizes his sinker to this lineup move you know it's not necessarily his go-to primary pitch, but he does mix it in when he needs it. He's just got to make sure that it's not flat. Otherwise, go. it's going to get hit hard. So look for him to throw it up there when he needs a big double play, a ground ball, something like that to get out of an inning, change it up for a hitter. Also, get those hitters looking down so that it opens up the top of the strike zone, especially late in and at bat. On the ground, right side. It's through for a hit. So, a runner aboard to start the inning. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock. And you'll take that anytime you can get him to find a hole. Now it's Fernando Tatis Jr. And he deals. 
crushed. Left center field. This one's deep. Forget it. A massive home run. It's 2 nothing. That was blasted. Absolutely no doubt off the bat. With a low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spots. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient, waited for it. It was like BP all over again. Profar climbs in on that left side. Ball to strike. The pitch. And that's ripped into left. Base hit. That's now three hits in a row for the offense. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. And now it's Manny Machado. And now two and two. Nobody out with a pair of runs across in the frame here in game four of the NLDS. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Four hits in a row, and they're really swinging it here. There was nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped, caught out in front, and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on it. And here's the rookie center fielder, Jackson Merrill. The pitch. On the ground, two ball. Feeds to second, out there to Muncy. That's two. Got what he was looking for on the mound right there, and his infielders took care of business. Pretty textbook execution between short and second to turn that into two outs. He's given up a couple of runs, but the pitch count really not as high as you would think. Might be able to get through this one under 25 pitches. And here comes Sander Bogarts. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Two outs and a runner at third here in game four. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. The Fernando Tatis Tater for San Diego. It's now a 2 0 ball game. You're watching the National League Division Series on the show. Second inning set to go. Now it's the Dodger cleanup hitter, Teoscar Hernandez. In the postseason, you see just how important every last play can be. You never know what's going to make the difference in the end. Swing and a miss. Well, like you said, Boog, every play is so pivotal at this point of the year. As a player, you've got to be locked in. Can't make a mistake that could cost your team the season. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Throws to first. Leadoff man retired here in the second. Here's Max Muncy. That funky Muncy. Two one now. Darvish, when you talk about his skill set, he stops teams from getting hits. That's the thing that he's so good at. He's just really difficult to get base hits against. One down, base is empty. Foul ball. Well, he's got power, and he has a reputation of being a strike thrower. So, to his advantage, he can expand the zone. Back foot slider struck him out. Off to a strong start, Singy, as he's punched out three of the first five he's faced. Well, he's definitely minimizing contact. He can get the swing and miss when he needs it, but he'll also keep the defense fresh behind him, allowing some balls in play as well. And up to the plate is Will Smith. Swung on, belted, and that gets down into the gap. 
Smith into second, and he's got a double. He can throw that fastball slightly above the top of the strike zone to get hitters to chase. He can also break it off because when you're geared up for good velocity, it's hard to stay back. You have to make a decision really early. And now it's Gavin Lux. Man at second. A little bit low. So what's the approach from an offensive perspective against a guy that doesn't give up a lot of hits? I think you just kind of have to lean out over the plate and you know, take your base. But seriously, you, you just have to try to shorten up. I think guys choking up on the bat a little bit to have some more bat control, be a little bit quicker, and don't get greedy. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Ground ball up the middle. On the run, sends it over to first. And that is the inning. One left for L.A. They trail it here, 2-0. Back here at Petco Park. Now here's Jake Cronenworth. The second baseman. The 1-1. One, one. Way out front for strike two. Saying he wasn't very sharp in the first, got hit around a little bit, just wasn't able to locate particularly well. A lot of stuff in the fat part of the plate. Yeah, Boog, he wasn't fooling anyone. It's a tough place to be because it's not always obvious where adjustments need to be made. Sometimes it's location. Sometimes it's being too predictable. Sometimes you're tipping your pitches. He's going to need to figure it out quickly, though. Blows the high heat past him. That's a strikeout. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Hitters become defensive, and all of a sudden, that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. Out to short. On the run, throw to first. Already two out here in the home half of inning number two. The catcher, Kyle Higashioka. Now here is Kyle Higashioka. That two, one not two. close. Two and two. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Two down. Nobody on. You got a full count. And a swing and a miss down on strikes. Three up, three down, inning over. Nothing doing there for the Friars. They're up to nothing. Top half of the third inning. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Tommy Edmond. And a 1 1. Fouled off. He was late. The wind and the pitch. Inside almost got him. Straightened him up a little bit. Wouldn't chase that time. Lined in the left center, and that should be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. It's a leadoff double to start the third. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Miguel Rojas at the plate. 
And it's second. Runner takes off for third. Pitch is high. And the throw, he's out at third. The line of the pitch. There's a swing and a miss. Two and two. The punch out there. Two away. Well, that did that seem to be over as soon as it started. Three pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there. At least to foul something off, extend that at bat. Back to the top of the Dodgers order. Kike Hernandez steps to the plate for the Dodgers. The pitch. Foul ball there. Two outs. On its way to the corner, Peralta sizing this one up. Corrals it. And that is that. And we're back as we go to the last of the third. Luisa Rise stands in. Rip to short, snagged on a bounce. The throw to first. One gone, bottom of the third inning. Fernando Tatis Jr. to hit here. One out, base is empty. Gosigi, this is a guy that grew up in big league clubhouses, and it's something that you see throughout the game. Sons, whose father has also played the majors. And a pitch. That to right. Betts calls it in, and there's two away. The left fielder, number 10. Two Jerickson. outs, base is empty. Jerickson oh, Profar, the next to hit. Yeah. Next offer in there for a strike. That what is strike two. Got? Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good, and then... By the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get oh. the barrel to it. And another ball. Next pitch is downstairs. Popped up right side. Lux gets under it. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Padres go down quietly, but they hold the 2-0 lead. Game four of the division series. Now the number two hitter, Mookie Betts. Singy, he's a guy that covers both sides of the plate about as well as anyone in the sport. How difficult is that to do? Well, I'll just look at the back of my bubblegum card. You'll see how hard it is. These guys are great, man. They have the ability to look out there, but also to be able to turn on the inside pitch. Those that can really sharpen things on the outer half, those are the ones that become elite. And a 1-2. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. Higashioka gathers, throws the first, gets him. One away on a drop third strike. Well, that slider was way out of the zone. And for me, it just comes down to not seeing the pitch out of the hand, not tracking it into the zone, and then also being a little bit anxious, not confident in your two-strike approach. And so when a guy's in that position, you get him to commit early, and a lot of times you get the swing and miss, as you did right there. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. Bounce to the right side. Cronenworth throws on to first. And Freeman is retired. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. 
And now Teoscar Hernandez. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon, the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. And it's in time for the third out, so that'll end the inning. Ready to go, bottom four. Here's Manny Machado. The third baseman, Manny Machado. Here's a 1-1. One, one. And that one wrapped foul. The wind of the pitch. And That's another ball. ball. Two balls, two strikes. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. And a pitch. Come on and miss. Struck him out. And one gone. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. And the batter now, Jackson Merrill. Base is empty, one away. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. <laughs> Got him swinging. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Two outs, base is empty. And now the shortstop, Xander Bogarts. And he grounds one to the right side. And that one handled. Whips it to first on the run. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Nothing doing there for the Friars, but they're on top 2-0. here in San Diego ready now for the fifth inning stepping in the long ball threat Max Muncy and the pitch late that time and it's strike two it's pitching well but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes he usually doesn't work out for success but you can never predict baseball swing and a miss struck him out well, he's on a great run of strikeouts and showing excellent control and command, not walking opposing batters. You know, this offense, they've got to find a way to break his rhythm, put the bat on the ball, maybe try to bunt for a base hit, get him off the mound, moving around, step out, something to interrupt his timing because he's coming right after these guys. The batter now will be Will Smith. No, that missed, that's Next ball. pitch is outside. And Will Smith will take his base. He's got a really good eye. You talk about an offensive player controlling the strike zone. Will Smith controls the strike zone. And next for L.A., Gavin Lux. The 1-1. To third. On a Cronenworth. And that's two. He continues to roll on the mound as five shutout innings are in the books. It's the Padres two and the Dodgers nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. John Shelby with my buddy Chris Singleton. It's set to get us started. Bottom five, Jake Cronenworth. That misses the zone, and it's two and one. 
Well, you got to give him credit out there on the mound. This outing started off a little shaky, but he's found a way to settle in and turn this into a pretty good start. Kind of shows you a lot about his mental makeup as a pitcher. Guys, and he can't hang on. Into second with a double, and they've got something brewing now. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was inside, and he let it get really deep, so pretty incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on it. So, man aboard. Now it's the right fielder, David Peralta. Oh. That's a little bit low. Kicks and deals. And there's a base hit the left. Rounds third, headed for the plate. The throw in, the tag out. Well, they were trying to put the pressure on him right there, try to score from second base on that base hit. And I tell you what, really nice job by the defense. They got it in quick enough to cut him off at the plate. Nice job. Next, it's the catcher for the Padres, Kyle Higashioka. And here it comes. In the dirt, but kept close. No advance. Good job behind the dish. Man at first, one away. Bounced up the middle. He gets there with the slide. The feed for one. Double play. What a twin killing to end the inning. No runs, two hits, no errors, and no one left. We're through five. It's the Padres two and the Dodgers nothing. Top of the sixth inning, and at the plate for the Dodgers, Tommy Edmond. The 2 1. And a foul ball. The 2 2 now. That's the ball. Now in this three ball count, down in the ball down game, the you've got to be very selective. Take your walk if they'll give it to you. The kick, the 3 2. Got him looking. One gone here. And up next for Los Angeles, Miguel Rojas. The Dodgers down by a pair, and we're the top half of the sixth. And that's in the dirt. And the count two and one. I got to call NLDS game four here in 2022 at Petco Park where the Padres knocked out their rivals, the L.A. Dodgers. The place was just nuts the entire game. Terrific fan support. One down, base is empty. Ground ball right side. He'll do it himself. Two quick outs to open the top of the sixth. Back to the top of the lineup, Enrique Hernandez steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Two down, nobody on. In there. And so now one and two. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. The pitch. That one down the line, and it's through for a hit. And that extends the inning for Mookie Betts. Now 
two outs runner at first and now it's Mookie Betts and a pitch bounding ball here rolls foul two outs swings through it for the K had him way out front of the slur so another good inning for him on the mound six shutout innings now it's the Padres two and the Dodgers nothing bottom of the sixth inning stepping in for San Diego Luis arrives on the mound he had a little trouble back in the first but it's been a different story the rest of the way really settled into this outing nicely and that one is lifted in the air playable bets makes the grab and there's one away Up next to the, ball, the designated hitter and the batter will be Fernando Tatis Jr. And it was a homer back in the first inning that got his day started at the plate. Yeah, Boog, a two-run blast as fans were just still getting into their seats here at the ballpark. So if you showed up late to this one, you missed out on a big moment early on. Tatis waits. And down on strikes. Now two away. Oh, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. They try to check the swing, just couldn't do it. The wide to kick the pitch. Wouldn't chase that time. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Padres down in order as they're unable to add to their 2 nothing lead. Top of inning number seven. Leading off, Freddie Freeman. Freddie Freeman. Left hand hitter waits. Line drive, base hit down the line. So a man on base to start the inning. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. Yeah, big swing and a miss. Man, he's been really good, about to hit that 100 pitch mark here in the seventh. Man, we'll see how far they're going to ride him, but it's been pretty good so far. The tying run at the plate. Swing and a high fly ball. That one out towards left center field, way back there. Just missed getting out of here and tying this game. Well, those can be pretty fun as an outfielder. Got to put it into his highest gear and go a long way to track that one down. Nothing better than that. You feel like a wide receiver playing football. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. That does it for you, Darvish, and he was a tough nut to crack. Pretty stingy from start to finish. Back with the new arm after a quick break. So the Padres with a new arm in the mound, Adrian Morahone. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect a tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. And now it's Max Muncy. Oh, look out here. He's going to come up ready to swing in this situation. Tying run at the plate. Fouls one away and now three and two. On this count, runner not known for his speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. 
Try to avoid a double play here, Boo. That one is absolutely belted. And it's a one-hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. Muncie into second. It's a double. To the plate, and he's out. That really hurts right there. This is no time to gamble. When you're down in the ball game, you've got to be sure if you're going to advance a runner or even try to score right there that you're going to be safe. Just a poor decision. And next for L.A., Will Smith. Here comes a pitch. And a count one and two. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. At the belt and fires. Foul ball still a one and two count. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit. But when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. Double barreled action in the bullpen for San Diego. Robert Suarez, the closer of the staff, is getting loose to finish this one off. Adam getting cranked up as well. And now the lefty. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Shallow left field. Full extension makes the catch. Great diving catch to end the inning after the pitcher battles through a tough one. That'll fire up the dugout. Time to go hit. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Shohei Otani. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Manny Machado up to the plate. Well, with both starters out of this ball game, it now becomes a battle of the bullpens, and just seeing which manager can match up better and who's able to get to the finish line. And that one clips the corner. Well, now that this is a bullpen game, it's clear that whichever bullpen steps up the most is likely going to come away with the W. Righty delivers. That misses, and it's three and two. pitch foul ball and it remains a full count and the righty deals swings through it and that's a strikeout Jackson Merrill the next up for the Padres bases empty one away late here in game four Next one, one in the dirt. Right through there for a strike. Ah, he doubled up on the off speed there. We talk about the power of fastball, but he's working a little differently here. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Out number two. Very strong coming out of the pen so far as he punches out the first two batters he's faced in this one. Getting straight to work. Man, it's talked about a lot, but relievers are just so electric these days. These aren't fun at bats if you're a hitter. I'm so glad I'm retired. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Wandy Peralta. These are the spots where relievers really make a name for themselves. Late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Gavin Lux. One, two. Right through there. Got it. Lead off man is out here in the eighth. 
So the bullpen doing a nice job backing up the effort from their starter. Yeah, we've seen some pretty excellent pitching out of this staff so far. I mean, they've come in ready to do their job and get outs. They've been pretty tough to get to in this one. One down, base is empty. And a base hit up the middle. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Wasn't able to elevate that one, but he sure hit it hard enough to get through the infield. There's not a whole lot of time for the defenders to react and try to make a play when it's ripped like that. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Throws it away! Now a chance for Miguel Rojas. Just off the inside edge. Boom, the runner at first needs to be careful right here. He's dealing with the pickoff artist on the mound. With the tying run at the plate, and we're in the top of the eighth. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Pretty much the last thing you want from your bullpen arms are free passes, especially in spots like this. Make the team earn their way on. Substitution being made at first. On to pinch run. Jeffrey Hernandez. Number 17. So the batting order turns over. Here's Kike Hernandez. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Right. Swings through that one for strike two. One Bullpen two action for the Padres. Robert Suarez, the hard-throwing righty, is up and loosening. He struck him out. Pulled the string of the changeup. You know, variant speeds can be just as useful for a pitcher as movement. As you see right there, it really wasn't a great location. But the fact that the velocity change had the hitter off balance, and that's all. Jason Adam gets the call from the pen. Jason Adam. Here's Mookie now. So the tying run at second. Swings and misses. Going to count one and two. Turns and fires the bets. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. Righty to the plate. Fouls it off. Still one and two. First and second. Two down. Way inside. Gets out of the way. Two on, two outs. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and mess, and you walk off the field. on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth Alex Vesia. well I gotta think he probably has a little extra in the tank facing his former team and there's not a player in the league that doesn't get a little extra motivation when he plays against his old squad so coming into the game now on defense Chris Taylor he's in a shortstop here's the second baseman Jake Cronenworth 
a little surprised you don't see a pinch hitter here with the lefty lefty matchup. Hammer down the right side but foul. Well on paper it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side same side he throws from. Taylor whips it to first. One up one down. The right David Peralta at the plate. And he deals. Right through there for a strike. Activity in the bullpen for the Dodgers. Ryan Brazier looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts. Base is empty one away. Here the bottom half of the eighth inning. Next pitch misses way outside. And down on strikes he goes. Two out. Kyle Higashioka the next up for the Padres. Kicks and fires. That pitch gets the corner, and it's one and two. That one out to right. Bet settles underneath it. Brings it in for the third out. the closer Robert Suarez well he's the guy they hope to turn to out of the pen to lock down wins so this game has gone to plan more or less let's see if he can wrap it up here the pitch fights that one away still one and two and the right hander deals Freeman hits it in the air Merrill sizes this one up. One up, one down. He's two outs away. Now it's the Dodger cleanup hitter, Teoscar Hernandez. The pitch. And a foul ball. Ground ball left side. Whips it across, and Hernandez is out. So, last chance for the Dodgers. Max Muncy steps to the plate for the Dodgers. And a pitch. Swings through that one out in front that time. Just amazing to me how many closers and back end relievers just throw absolute gas these days. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. That's tremendous fight from him, and I know it's got the dugout fired up down there. Down to the last strike, and he comes up with a hit to keep the game alive. It ain't over yet. Digging in, Will Smith. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. The Dodgers down to their final strike. And a swing and a miss. And that is the ball game.